Hey y'all, how's it going? Good, glad to hear that. Okay, today we're going to look at something called multiples, which was, I don't, I don't know, I was, I was kind of confused about this when I was a kid, and uh, Saxon has a great way of explaining it. I hope I do it justice. So make sure that you know these two, all these terms. You know what factors are, right? Like the factors of, you know, 12 are 12 and 1, 6 and 2, 3 and 4, and so on. Those are the factors. Products means numbers that are multiplied together. Okay, product is an answer to a multiplication problem. Uh, multiples are just a number, you know, like in other words, the multiples of 10 are 10, 20, 30, 40, and so on. The multiples of three are three, six, nine, twelve, you know, and so on. That's a multiple. So make sure you know the difference among those three terms. Okay. Well, you tell me. The number eight is a multiple of which numbers? It's a multiple of which numbers? Well, let's do the obvious one. The number eight is a multiple of eight, right? It's the first one. Okay. The number eight is also a multiple of, we could say two, right? So we could say two and then four and then six and then eight and then ten and oh, oh, there it is that's a multiple of two you could also say the eight number eight is a multiple of four right we got four times one is four four times two is eight four times three oh there it is again so those are that's what sort of multiple is okay so they'll ask you things like find all multiples of nine that are less than 50 less than 50. okay so well a multiple of nine starts with of course nine we got 18, we got 27, we got 36, oh, 45, and then if we do the next one, that's 54. That doesn't count, though. It's not less than 50. So those are the multiples of 9 less than 50. Okay, all right, let's try. Uh, let's go to the next part, which is called least common multiple. You know what the word least means, right? Common means it's common. Both or all three of something have something in common. And a multiple is a multiple. In other words, you, what is a multiple of 5? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. What's a multiple of 10? 10, 20, 30, 40, blah, blah, blah. What's a multiple of 12? 12, 24, 36, 48, and so on. Okay. We're going to find, we're going to use a nice technique to find least common multiples with a bunch of numbers. So instead of having to write all the multiples out and then finally find one that's common among two, between two or among three or more, we can just do this technique and it's fantastic. You'll love it. it. Involves the factor tree. Okay, let's list some multiples of two. Go ahead. Two. Yeah. Four, six, eight, ten, blah, 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 and so on. Okay. How about some multiples of three? Three, six, nine, twelve, blah, 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 and so on. Okay. Well, if you look at this, there are some common multiples, right? They both have six in common. That's a multiple of 2 and 3. And they both have tw uh, 12 in common, right? That's also a multiple of 2 and 3. Okay. So sometimes we're, we're going to want to find the least common multiple. That ha that's helpful in fractions and in doing some things in algebra. So this is a technique that we're going to use. So here is how we do it. <clears throat> now watch how this happens and make sure you copy this down. They'll say find the LCM of 30 and 45. Now let's stop for a second. A multiple of 30 is something like 30, 60, 90, 120, 150, 180, and all that kind of thing. The multiple of 45 is like 45 and times 1, 45 times 2, 45 times 3, 45, and, and on and on. What we want to find is the least common between those two. We'll use the factor tree. Watch how this works. This is really neat. You know, in fact, just go ahead and pause it and do factor trees right now of 30 and 45 and then uh, just circle the prime numbers and stop and then come back. Okay, well if you did 30, you probably got something like 3 and 10 and then that's going to be 2 and 5. Okay, all right, <clears throat> 45, you had let's say, you know, 9 and 5, that's a prime, and then 3 and 3. Now, to find an LCM, this is what you want to do. Make sure you write, write this down or remember it or something. Okay, what you want to do is choose the most of each prime factor. And choose which one of these, and sometimes you'll have three of these. They'll say, find the LCM of these three numbers. 
choose the most of each one. Like you choose the one that has the most twos. Then choose the one that has the most threes. Then choose the one that has the most fives. If it's a tie, just choose the one that they both have. Okay, so let's start with twos first. Which one has more twos? Okay, yeah. This one has a two, that one has no twos, so we have to choose this two, all right? Which one has more threes? There's a three. Oh, but there are a couple of threes there. So we're gonna go three times three. You can go ahead and put nine if you want to, or you can just say three times three, whatever. Which has the more fives? They both have one five, right? So let's just include the one five, okay. <clears throat> so we can do this in any order you want. So we can go two times five is 10. 10 times nine is 90, and that is our answer. Now the reason that is our answer, let me make sure you understand this. If you write the, the multiples of 30, you got 30, 60, 90, 120, 150, 180, blah, 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 okay? If you do 45, that's 45 times one, 45 times two, 45 times three, 45 times four, you can just keep going, okay? You might go, oh, wait a minute, look, there's 180, that's common. Yeah, but it's not the least common. Look at this. That's the least common multiple. You don't have to do this junk. All you need to do is do it this way and it gives you the LCM right there in front of your face. All you need to do is find the most of each number. You'll have twos, threes, fives, sevens, elevens, and all kinds of things. And there you go, that's it, okay. So here's another one, Whew, there's three of them now. Find the LCM of 24, 55, and 80. In other words, think about this for a second, don't do this yet. You're gonna, you don't have to do this, but imagine all the multiples of 24 strung along in this long line. Then imagine all the multiples of 55 in this long line of multiples. Then imagine doing all the multiples of 80, 80, 160, 240, 320, ugh, and then kind of looking among all three of these and finding the smallest one that's in all of them. Would you like to do that? Uh, no, I'd rather pull on my toenails with pliers, okay? Forget it. So let's just do the factor trees. So go ahead and pause this and do factor trees of all three of those. Go ahead and pause and unpause when you're done. Okay, for 24, I'm just gonna go ahead and write the prime because I know these. Okay, for 24, it'll be two times two times two times three. That's 24. For 55, it's a piece of cake. We all know that. That's gonna be five times 11. Those are both primes. 80, that's gonna be two times two times two times two times five. Everybody there? Okay, so let's just start choosing. Right? Which one has the most twos? Well, that one does, right? Ooh, there we go. So let's just go ahead and do the arithmetic in our head here. Two times two times two times two is 16. So that's when we 16. Which has the most threes? Well, this one does, right? So just gonna put 16 times three. All right, well, which one has the most fives? Well, there's a tie. There's a five there and a five there. So we just pick the one five as a, as a tie. Then of course this has an 11 and <clears throat> that's next, there you go. So what I would do is go, okay, I would just go 16 times three and then maybe, I don't know, five times 11 or something like that. So that's 55. 16 times three is 48. So let's go ahead and over here and do 55 times 48. So 55 times eight is 440. 55 times four is 220. So that's a zero, a four, a six, and a two. All right. So the LCM is 2,640. Now, I wanna make sure you understand what this means, okay? This isn't just some random number, oh, I don't know what it means, okay? That means if you sat there for 20 minutes and did all the multiples of 24, eventually you'd get to 2,640, okay? That's, you'd, you'd have to do that, uh, I mean, 110 times, okay? 55, if you sat there and did all the multiples of 55, you'd eventually get to 2,640. If you did all the multiples of 80, you would also eventually get to 2640, okay? Rather than having to do all that junk and then try to pick it out and want to, you know, tear your hair out with, you know, scissors or something, there is the method. There you go. That's a perfect foolproof way to do it. Pick the most of each one, multiply them all together, that's your LCM. So, okay. All right. Try page 72, the practice problems. Pause it and come back when you're ready.
Okay, well, multiples of 7 that are less than 56 will be 7, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42, and 49. <clears throat> you don't include 56 because 56 is not less than 56. Okay, so B, all multiples of 6 that are greater than 29, also less than 50. You're talking about 30, 36, 42, and 48. That's it. All right, let's look at C. Find the LCM of 18 and 250. Okay, let's look at it. 18, 250. What you should have found for 18 is 2 times 3 times 3. For 250, you should have found 2 times 5 times 5 times 5. That should be your uh, answer to that one. Okay? Now, look at this and choose the most. Which has the most 2s? They both have a 2, so stick it there. Which has the most 3s? This one does. 3 times 3 is 9. Which has the most 5s? That one does. 5 times 5 is 25. 25 times 5 is 125. You can make this simple by going, okay, that's 18. 125 times 18. Boom, you should get 2,250. That is the smallest number that 18 and 250 will both go into. The smallest multiple. Okay. Look at D, and then that'll be it for the day. D is 35, 60, and 90. What's the LCM of those three? Go ahead, if you haven't already, and pause it and do it. Okay, I'll do this. If, uh, 35 is a piece of cake. That's 5 times 7. End. 60 will be 2 times... Let's see here. 30 is 3. And then, I'm sorry, that'll be 2 times 2 times 3 times 5. I believe 15, yeah. 90 will be 2 times 3 times 3 times 5. And there we go. Okay? So in other words, let's, let's think about it for 5 seconds. When they say, what's the least common multiple of 35, 60, and 90? That means the smallest number that 35, 60, and 90 will all divide evenly into. The way we do this is to figure the most of each, right? There are the most 2s right there. That gives us 4. 2 times 2 is 4. The most threes, there's only one there. Oop, there's two there. Three times three is nine. The most fives, one, they all have a five. Okay, so we're just going to use a five. And this one actually has a seven. Nobody else has a seven, but we have to include that though. So let's do this part here. Four times nine is 36. Five times seven is 35. All right? And if you do the math here, you'll find that the answer is 1,260. That is the smallest number that 35, 60, and 90 will all divide evenly into. There's LCM. Okay. All right. Knock it out. Do a great job on this uh, problem set. Today is 20. 20 are in the can. Okay. So a good milestone. Doing a great job. Keep at it. See you next time.